hi to all today's topic is kernel of homomorphism the definition for homomorphism so if f is from a function is from a g to g dash is a group homomorphism from g under a star operation and g dash delta operation then the set of all elements of g which are mapped to e dash is the identity element of g dash is called as a kernel of the homomorphism okay so it is denoted by kernel is denoted by K E R F F kernel of F. Set of all X such that F of X equal to E dash when we write it's called as a kernel of homomorphism. So only one theorem in this. The theorem is nothing but kernel of a homomorphism F from a mapping uh, G to G dash is a subgroup. It's we have to prove it's a subgroup of G. Okay. For that, first we have to you have to refer my previous video, homomorphism video. If you refer only, you can understand clearly. So in that we have proved the condition f of e is nothing but e dash. We have proved. So from that only we are going to prove it. F of e is nothing but e dash. E and e dash are the identity element of g and g dash. Then we can say that this e belongs to an kernel f. Then uh, kernel F is nothing but non-empty set of uh, uh, group G. So how we have to prove it's a subgroup means subgroup it's normally how we prove subgroup. So A star B inverse belongs to whichever it is asked to prove subgroup the corresponding element. Here kernel F it is asked to prove subgroup so the corresponding element. So A star B dash only we are going to prove it. For that I need to take uh, two elements a and v belongs to another kernel f so by the definition of the kernel f it is nothing but f of a first element belongs means f of a is nothing but e dash second element f of b is nothing but e dash so when i multiply the star operation a star b inverse is nothing but so refer my previous video homomorphism in that we have proved it is nothing but definition of homomorphism it's f of a into delta f of b dash so in in that also we have proved f of b inverse is nothing but f of b the whole inverse we have proved in the in my previous video so after seeing that video you refer this video so f of e is nothing but e dash delta as it is f of b is nothing but e dash so e dash the whole inverse same e dash only so e dash del e dash is nothing but e dash what is the definition of e dash e dash is nothing but kernel f so a star b dash belongs to an kernel f kernel f is a subgroup of g star okay so this is the way we have proved the theorem so related to kernel f today we will be seeing two problems the first question if g is the set of all ordered pairs a comma b of a real number and star is a binary operation defined by some rules okay we have to follow this rule whatever the condition given you have to follow this condition prove that it is a subgroup First, we need to prove subgroup. Subgroup, uh, uh, G is a group. We have to prove first all the four conditions. Closure property, associative, identity and inverse. Then additionally, it is given G is an additive group. It is an addition uh, operation. It is told of all a real number. Prove the mapping from G to G dash denoted by the condition. You have to use this condition and prove it is a homomorphism. Okay. First, we will prove how it is a group. First, I will prove. Then homomorphism, I can prove it. So for a group, first for a group means I have to take. Uh, uh, we know that first property is nothing but closure property. One by one, I will prove all the four conditions. So we know that closure property. Closure property means uh, it is given in the whichever element given according to that. A comma B is given. A comma B and c comma d so all the both the element it belongs to g okay so we know that a comma b star c comma d is nothing but a plus c so it is uh, written to be the operation first two element then last two element this way it has been written so all both a comma b and c comma d belongs to c so when i multiply also it belongs to g this when I add a plus c also it is in this. So it also belongs to g. So closure property satisfied. Okay. So second is associative.
associative also same way so it is nothing but about the element it belongs to one more elements because it is with respect to i will take e and f belongs to g okay all the three elements belongs to g so what is general associative property general it will be i will write this eh? this now we are not going to use a star b star c okay first two bracket is nothing but a star b star c this only general we will write okay general now as per comma i have to write i cannot i have to write in comma square of two elements i have to write so when i write it a comma b star c okay c comma d star is nothing but e comma f okay this is equal to a comma b star c comma d equal to e comma f so this is according to this same way i have written as per our question given okay this only we need to prove you try it we can prove it okay so you can try c comma d so it's nothing but when i write it only left i will take okay write the same way c comma d so now it is as per this form it means i have to write how one plus this so c plus e comma i have to write d plus f so completed this is one element okay so now a comma b star now this is a this is b so it uh, star operation so when i write it this both element i have to add and write and this both element i have to add and write so it's nothing but a plus c plus e comma b plus d plus f is the answer same way i will get the answer in the right hand side right hand side you check so when i write it a plus c comma b plus d okay bracket as it is star operation e and f so when i write it first two elements i have write it in a plus a plus c plus e comma b plus d plus f okay check it now so left hand side equal to right hand side so also it is few satisfied same way third is nothing but identity identity property identity element or identity property so now same way when i take it what is our identity property normally so a yeah, zero so a comma b star zero comma zero equal to when i write it it's nothing but okay so when when i'm able to write a plus zero comma b plus zero is nothing but same a comma b i am getting same way when i write it zero comma zero star a comma b when i write it it's nothing but uh, zero plus a zero plus b so it's nothing but same a comma b so therefore zero comma zero is the identity element how i got 0 comma 0 means okay this i don't know okay so i have to get the same element okay what is your identity element a star e equal to e star a equal to a okay so i should get the same what i use the same it should be right okay so e only i don't know e i don't know okay so e i don't know means i guessed which i multiply so i will get the same element a comma b so that is the reason i guessed only with respect to zero remaining element i add and write means it will be changed so i will not get the same element so i so it is a uh, only zero comma zero okay so now fourth property is nothing but inverse condition we have to prove inverse property so inverse what is our formula you remember a star a inverse is nothing but a star a inverse star a is nothing but e okay so that the corresponding identity element now when i write it it's nothing but a comma b i don't know the inverse element i will write it minus a minus b okay so it's nothing but 
uh, e so it is nothing but 0 comma 0 whether it's coming i will check so when i check it a minus uh, a b minus b you check it 0 comma 0 so i am getting so it is nothing but minus a comma minus a comma minus b is the inverse of the corresponding element So, all the four conditions satisfied means uh, it is a group. G star is a, is a group. We have proved only group. Additionally, some condition has been given. Okay, that we need to prove. So, what it is given in the question? So, it is a homomorphism. They asked to prove homomorphism. Homomorphism, uh, I have to prove. Okay, so I have to prove for homomorphism. So, next condition homomorphism I have to prove for that first function of okay homomorphism means it is nothing but function of a okay so corresponding whatever the element that we have to prove and write it okay it is nothing but e dash we have to then it is a homomorphism no so now I will write it in a function so function of so what is the given function? It's nothing but a comma b star c comma d. Okay, when I write it, so I am able to write only inside first. I will write so function. I will have it as it is. When I write, write inside a plus b comma b plus d. So completed. So when I am able to write like this, some condition has been given. Addi addition property of the use. For addition property, it is given in the question. Addition property use the condition f of a comma b when it is to any two comma only the first element. Okay, that is given in the question. I will show you. See here. G is additive group. Okay, a addition property you have to use f of a comma b equal to a. That condition you have to use for homomorphism. It is mentioned in the question. So now when I use, now you check it. It is in a comma. This fully a, this fully b. So I have to use. It's nothing but first element. It is a plus c. Okay, a plus c only. I have it. Okay, now it is a plus c when I have it. Uh, how I can write it in the same format I have to write it a plus c is nothing but now when I write it for example uh, reverse only answer is given I have to write it in a plus operation like this plus operation I am write it so it is nothing but a comma b plus f of c comma d okay when I write it it is nothing but a plus c Function of a is nothing but function of a comma b. C is nothing but function of d comma c. So the same format only a I am taking. A means I can write f of a comma b. Same way c is given means I can write f of some c comma d. So that only I have written. Okay. So when I write it before it was in star operation. Okay. So some star operation. Now it was in plus operation. It is a we have proved f is a homomorphism as yes, it's a homomorphism from a g to g dash so we have proved it's a homomorphism thank you